All right, I got this ghost energy tropical mango. Let's give it a try, shall we? That's good as fuck, actually. Anyways, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. You're playing some Halo today. Taking a break from Resident Evil 4. I will be finishing that fucking game on this channel. You bet your fucking ass. I don't give a shit if it's getting low views or what. I'm finishing that game. I started P5 Strikers. It didn't go anywhere. I did two videos on Final Fantasy 16 and I just quit. I am going to finish this series if it's the last thing I do. But yeah, it's pretty cool playing Halo on the channel. Uh, for those that don't know, I grew up playing Halo. Whether it was playing it with my brother and my cousin, or just, you know, or just chilling at my next door neighbor's house, we would always just play Halo Reach if we were gonna play a multiplayer game. And although Halo has kind of gone down the drain since Halo Reach, I actually find Halo Infinite to be pretty fun. I mean, to be fair, there's not many FPS games on the block that are good right now. What the fuck? I hate that fucking thing. You know, I'm drinking this ghost energy drink right now, and I gotta say, I can see why some people say it's better than G Fuel. I'm not gonna lie, I've always drank J Fuel. I think G Fuel, you know, the effects of G Fuel are good, but the actual flavors themselves, mm -mm, they, they suck ass, I'm sorry. There's like a select few G Fuel flavors that are actually good, and no matter what I do to it, it just always seems like it's too chalky or something like that. Before someone says like, oh, add more water or like add ice, do this, do that, I have done everything. I've shaken it for longer, I've, you know, G Fuel is just a horrible tasting drink. And honestly, I don't care about the effects. If it tastes horrible, I don't want to drink it. I've wanted to support G Fuel so bad because all my favorite YouTubers, Noisy Butters, FaZe Jev, they all, you know, support and, you know, tell you to use G Fuel whenever they can, you know? I even tried their G Fuel cans for a while and I even think those taste bad, not gonna lie. But I don't really drink energy drinks like that anymore anyways. If I have one, I'll take it. Overall, it's just a waste of money for the most part, not gonna lie. I mean, if you're balling, and stuff like that i can get why you buy an energy drink just to give yourself an extra boost right but uh other than that i, I don't see a reason why you should be uh wasting money on it jesus christ that was one chaotic ass kill that's what i love about halo it can be chaotic at times i feel like cod lobbies used to be able to be chaotic but i'm not anymore with how you know they base their game nowadays not fast paced anymore black Ops 4 for example that game used to get chaotic as fuck this game uh once again it has some chaotic moments halo i feel like should be like what a lot of games try to make their multiplayer look like you know just a pretty fast pace shooter not to say that all halo lobbies are played like this there could be some slow halo lobbies but for the most part they're all pretty fun like this i don't know if there's skill based matchmaking in this game but if there is it's really not noticeable either at least to me how the fuck hit like every shot there but yeah dude i was so lucky to get the resident evil uh 4 part 2 video out yesterday davinci resolve kept giving me issues like it would render the video but also like wouldn't i don't know how to explain it so the video would render but i also use handbrake to compress the file so that it doesn't take as long to upload and it literally just like handbrake wouldn't accept the file because the actual export didn't have any video length like there was no video in the export but it had all the gigabytes so i ended up having to uh use the uh mp4 export for uh that video which looked as fine as uh you know my old export settings and that ended up fixing it so it just sucked because i was sitting there all day and it was like at like five hours at that point that it should have been uploaded and scheduled for the next day but it just i i don't know where are you going, man? Don't run from me, little boy. That sounded so bad. Victory. Hey, let's go. That was one of my better games, I feel like. So WWE SummerSlam is, I believe, August 5th. Yeah, it's August 5th, so it's literally a week from Saturday. Dog, I cannot wait for that. SummerSlam is one of my favorite days of the year because I just like having something to look forward to. And the SummerSlam card looks pretty good this year. Last year, it wasn't so great. They're saying The Rock might come back. Honestly, the chances of that are really, really low. But it's one of those things, right? Like, a few years ago, the chances of a Persona 3 remake actually happening were so low, but the belief that, like, it was gonna happen was so high, and then, of course, it happened. I feel like it's the same thing with this 
with the rock returning that SummerSlam thing. I don't think it's going to happen, but I want to believe it's going to happen. And speaking of WWE, they're coming here for Survivor Series in November, which is also my birthday month. And they're coming here for two days in a row. So yeah, I'm going with my cousin. So I'll definitely vlog that. I don't know how I died there. Oh, Jesus, I'm, I just suck, I guess. I hate Capture the Flag so much. In my opinion, it's the worst game mode in this game. I wish they allowed you to choose the game modes that you want to play in quick play. Please die! What the fuck?! I'm so close to killing the one dude. He hides behind a wall and his teammate just fucking hits me in the back, dog. Like, who the fuck are you?! Oh my god, I'm telling you, I just keep getting shot in the back no matter what. I get Halo is like a stick with your team type of game, but... How the fuck are you not dead? What the fuck? If this somehow gets into, like, people who actually watch Halo content algorithm are probably gonna get roasted so hard, but I don't really care. I'm playing for fun. Like, dog, my one friend who, like, you know, knows everything about Resident Evil 4, I guess, got mad at me because I apparently missed a cutscene in one of the first chapters, and I also missed the shotgun. I was just like, okay, what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm not a fucking psychic. I don't know where shit is. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just like, dog, just go watch someone who knows how to 100% this shit if you are mad that I'm missing shit. Just like, no, seriously, what, what the fuck do you want me to do? It's like expecting a newcomer to Persona to know, like, how to fuse every Persona in the game without, you know, ever looking at a fusion calculator. Like, oh shit, we're winning this. Thank God my team's good, because I'm not good. Wait, I have 10 kills. Where, where the fuck did that come from? What was that guy doing? Alright, nice. Jeez, I had 14 kills. Nice. Yeah, so the Xbox came with Forza Horizon 5. And if you can't tell by my name, I love Kurumi Togisaki. Not in the weird way that a lot of Kurumi Togisaki fans are. Fucking posting porn of her every two seconds, I swear to God. Like, I'm telling you, bro, go to Instagram, go to the Kurumi Togisaki hashtag. There is probably more porn than you find on Pornhub. Not even funny, dude. <laughs> yep, I, <laughs> I go to the Kurumi Togisaki hashtag. Just days yeah so i never actually get to the point here because i go and ramble about something else but what i was trying to mention was that yeah kurumi car cool right anyways back to the video shit's ridiculous oh energy sword but i'm actually pretty good with the energy sword in this game oh fuck it's slayer i hate slayer all right i'll let my team make it the energy sword where the fuck How are you not fucking dead? It feels like sometimes they should be dead. Because, like, you know how, like, in some games, you know how long you need to hold down the trigger for them to be dead? I've been doing that a lot in this game. I guess I just haven't been playing it long enough. Because in Call of Duty, that shit's, like, muscle memory. Why are you camping? There's a guy just camping to the left over there, dog. Look at this fucking rat over here. God damn. God oh, damn. <laughs> Fuck it, L. See, man, you got in the way! Fucking. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm the only person who can say that my grenade bounced off my teammate and killed me. So, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. By the way, this isn't really me being toxic. This is just how I have fun and joke around. I don't actually have a vendetta against, you know, these players. I got a comment like one time, like, because I fucking got mad at a guy who was hard scoping or playing weirdly or whatever. And uh, yeah, they didn't like it too much. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Fuck, I missed that grenade horribly. Hey, yo, where you going? There's a good amount of recoil on this gun, damn. Oh shit. 
Oh, that was my kill. Ran out of ammo. Oh shit! Damn. It would have been clean if I got the kill off there. No! Oh my god. I need to figure out where and where I can't melee from because sometimes I just be trying to melee and then I realize that I'm too far away. Please die. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Alright, nice. Another 14 kill game. Nice. Well, anyways, that's where I'm going to end my video for today. If you're new here and felt like you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want some more Halo content, show it by leaving a like on the video. Sorry, I hate all the YouTube shit. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace. to exist yeah